start. Okay, we are going now. So, uh, <coughs> welcome everybody. Uh, this is personal finance. So this is a required class that you got to have for graduation. It's only a block though, okay? And I promise to try to make it the best I can for you. So the, the class is broken out pretty good. We'll talk about the class in a second, but I'll just introduce myself. So my name is Mr. Hancock, and this is a little bit of my family. They're kind of older pictures now. I need to update the pictures for a little bit. So uh, where you see the pointer right now, this is my wife, Christy. Uh, I have a, my youngest boy, so I have three kids. My youngest boy is, uh, his name's Kaler, and then my next boy, and he's two now, so that was like when he was one, so it's like a year old. My next son is uh, Kaysen, he's four, uh, and then I have a daughter, Brooklyn, that is uh, seven, so almost eight. So that is my little family right there. Uh, so that's a little bit about me. Um, we kind of got to know a little bit about you as well, um, kind of where you live, hoping to get to know you a little bit better uh, throughout the block. Okay, a couple things you might want to write down. So if you get a text message or a call from this phone number, why don't you just answer it? Okay, so this is me. <laughs> so if you have, or if you have information or need uh, que questions, call or text me. Um, text is usually better because I'm usually teaching or something. Uh, so you can do that, then I'll make sure I get back to you. So call or text me on that number. Uh, feel free also to email me. Um, at, uh, at this email address. Oh, I gotta put my thing on silent too. Hold on, guys. Uh, I don't want instant messages popping up right during our lesson. Okay. Um, <coughs> also, disregard this. I'm putting something over it. Hold on. All right, just kidding. We don't have office hours anymore. What we're going to be having, okay? If you do need help, we have a history and electives uh, study hall that we'll be holding on Friday at 2 o'clock. So you'll have all the history and elective teachers in there. And so I'll be sending out a reminder for those that need to come and get that extra support and help, okay? So instead of all those office hours, I have that. Okay, um, next one here. Okay, let's start talking about personal finance real quick. So... What I mean, I have the a brief de definition of it, but when you think of personal finance, what do you guys think of? Put something in the chat here. Think of personal finance. What do you think of? Got a couple of you right in here. I think of this budgeting. Okay, I like it. Money. Yep, I think of money. A lot. That's one of the things I think of. What are some other things you guys think of? Okay. The struggle is real. Yeah. <laughs> exactly, right? Have enough money to be able to pay for things. I, I definitely agree. Savings account, bank accounts, checking, college funds, debt, bills, expenses need to be paid. Um, how much money you have, but overall being stable. Yep. I like it. Uh, investing. Okay. And we're going to talk about all this stuff will be, be touched upon. Uh, the best way to figure out how much you will need to spend on necessities versus spare money. I like it, okay? Uh, Trade-offs is kind of what that's called. Okay, here's kind of a little brief definition here. Personal finance is the financial management which an individual or family unit performs to budget, save, spend monetary resources over time, taking into account various financial risks and future life events. Oh, that's a lot. And... It gets emotional, right? It's like, well, I want that hamburger. Yeah, well, maybe you can't have it. can't afford it right now, okay? I'll, my kids always want ice cream every day, and I'm not going to give them ice cream every day, that's for sure. Okay. Uh, I know one very risky way to invest in the stock market. Yep. We'll be talking about those, too. Um, I do some penny stocks. I invest in some risky stuff, but I also invest in some very like stable stuff that I know is not going anywhere. Okay. 
But more risk, more reward you'd get. Okay. Okay. Um, <clears throat> real quick. And Bitcoin, which was risky. Yeah, yeah. Um, I got some Bitcoin that I <laughs> put into. <laughs> All right. Let me talk about this real quick. <clears throat> so there's two options in this class. Okay. So one is just the regular class you're taking right now. You get 0.25 credits towards your high school graduation. It's a only a block and it's only informative. There is also a concurrent enrollment class through Dixie State. Um, uh, so what happens is it's already started for the semester, so you'd have to take it fall semester next year in order to take this concurrent enrollment class. So if this is something you want to do, we may want, and you're planning on staying here or you're not a senior, um, you may want to look into this and you can take this course next fall and you get credit for the high school graduation and also for college. So um, that that's a, something you could do right there. Um, were you in that last semester? Okay, I'll have to maybe talk to you. Were you in my finance, personal finance Dixie State class? Or were you maybe in another Dixie State class? Yeah, concurrent enrollment. But were you in my financial literacy class? No. Nope. Okay. All right. So yeah, you still need this credit for graduation. But if if you want to do it and you're going to be here next year, then you got it. Uh, good. I may have all my credit this year. Okay. Very good. I hope so. Um. So yeah, if you're interested in that, email me. Okay, or you can email Miss Hymas too. She's over the concurrent enrollment uh, portion of it. Okay, but as I said, it's already past enrollment for there, but uh, that's where we're at. Okay, uh, let's move on to the next one here. Okay, this class. Okay, let's talk about this class. This class is set up where you can do it all just through the online class so the OLS right so you go to your online school and you go through the different units so there's five different units three units or three lessons in each unit and there's anywhere from one to maybe five videos and quizzes that you have to take in each of the things okay so the curriculum is really cool. It's Dixie State University students that put together little snippets of and teaching you about personal finance, and then you have to take a quiz on it, and then you just do the same thing. Uh, overall, there's quite a few quizzes that you need to take, so you'll want to go in and just kind of do that. Uh, the help session, right, as I said, it's Friday, so you can come and do it, and so that's what you're graded on is those quizzes. So I've had students that complete this course in two weeks. Um, so they'll just go through, you take all the things, and then you're kind of good to go. Um, for the live classes as well, um, we'll probably, I mean, sometimes, I mean, we only have it once a week, but I actually might do that every other week, um, this class, because I've noticed that a lot of students, they're getting ahead and they're just passing. So if you really need help, come to the Friday help session that I will, um, I'll be emailing you guys. But other than that, we're probably only going to meet every other week um, here for live classes. So the next time we'll meet here in this class is will be the 29th of January. Okay. Any questions on that, how it's set up? So we can work ahead and finish early. Correct. Yep, you can. You can complete it all this week if maybe you just want to sit down and all that so you do. That's all you want to do, okay? Okay, awesome. Yep, so you can finish early. Everything's already set up. It should be automatically graded. And oh, here's something I, I want to mention too. If you didn't do well on a quiz, uh, just redo it. It's set up so you can redo it and get the grade that you want. How many credits do you need for college on average? 
usually uh, 30 credits you need for uh, uh, like probably associate's degree and about 60 for uh, a bachelor's degree. Okay, each class is usually worth three credits. So you can do the math there. All right, so if you go to plan uh, up in your OLS, that will show you what you need to do each week. Okay. Um, so you go up there. Uh, all gr grades are based off the, the quizzes that are taken. You can take those as many times as you want. So, but make sure you watch the videos because they're very detailed in the questions and they come from the actual concurrent enrollment college course that, that's there. So they, if you don't watch the video, you're probably not going to do very well on the quiz. So just watch the video. They're only about two to maybe four minutes long, not very long. Maybe take some notes during it and then do the quiz. Okay, to pass, you need at least a 60% to pass. If you want to get an A, you got 90, and then you have all the ranges in between. So just like every other class you have. Um, okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to first start and do a little uh, discussion. And we're going to uh, go into lesson one, which is analyze the role of culture, social, and emotional influence on financial behavior. So I'm going to ask this question right here. And then I'm going to let you guys write on the whiteboard. So I'll give you those, uh, those permissions in a second. But if you could buy anything in the world, what would it be? Okay. You have no restraints. You have all the money you need to. I'm going to give you guys permission now to write on the whiteboard. So why don't you go write on the whiteboard. If you could buy anything in the world, what would it be? Okay. All right. <laughs> okay. So more money. But you already have all the money you need. Something you want to buy. Okay. Uh, Black Ops 4 for my Xbox One, okay? That that's, that's that's little, man. Think of something bigger. I want you to think of something big. Okay, SpaceX. Okay, if somebody were to buy the company SpaceX, that would be, uh, be a big purchase. But hey, you know, maybe you want to go to Mars really bad, okay? Uh, all the stocks in the world, okay? So you'd be pretty going there. Hopefully the stock market doesn't crash. A dream house or donate most of it. Okay, very good. Uh, my dream house, a really nice car. Okay, Amazon. Somebody buy Amazon. All of Amazon. My dream life. Okay. All right. NASA. Somebody buy NASA. Well, NASA is owned by the government, so that might be hard. Okay, we have some things on uh, the thing chat to uh, I just want a house Amazon again a house SpaceX I pay any college debt I'd be in okay uh, if you had to go full money I'd be super science lab for rocket circuits wires chemicals etc very cool yep see like some things I want to shop out in my back um Cool cars, right? Okay. Very good. Apple, but stocks go down. Yeah. But they go up over time, too. Okay. The Earth. Somebody would buy the Earth. All right. Okay. So let's, uh, let's go to the next question here. Why do you not buy what you want? Why don't you just go, hey, let's go buy that car, that house. Okay, so you need money. <laughs> Can't buy the earth, okay. You have like no money, laugh out loud, okay. Uh, I have too many things I want. Okay, so resources are limited. That money for stuff we need can't always get what you want, but you find sometimes you get what you need. Okay, very good. 
Um, you don't need everything. Too many things. Things are expensive. Yep. Uh, who wants a girlfriend when you have a wife? I guess. I, I don't know. Yep. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> uh, <coughs> I don't know how to spend wise and money. Okay. Very good. Broke. Like it. No one would sell you all the Cheez-Its in the world. Okay, if that was your favorite food, I guess you could buy a bunch of Cheez-Its, right? If you had the money and resources. So we don't have all the resources that, that we need, okay? All right. What would be the consequence if you did buy this item? So let's say, hey, I want this fancy car. I can get a loan for it, right? Okay, so somebody said on the chat, debt collectors, okay? Okay, um, I know nothing about space. Okay, so I'm assuming that's the person who wants to buy SpaceX or NASA. Um, so you might run the company in the ground maybe, right? I'd have less money than I started with, okay? Okay, consequences, debt, yeah, debt. And what if you paid like a bunch of money on the loan, right? And then you couldn't pay it anymore. Do they give you back that money you already paid in for your car? No. The bank gets to keep it, right? They get to keep the car and they take it. It would, would make it harder to maintain um, finances. All right, very good. I think you guys are kind of getting the picture here, right? So this is what your first lesson is going to be on, okay? Your first lesson is going to be on... Um, Basically, why what we need, your needs versus your wants, right? Why we can't go out and buy everything. Um, but, but the thing is we have a lot of feelings towards money, right? It's just, it's just money, right? But at the same time, if you don't have a lot of money um, or you don't have your specific needs, it, uh, it can be very stressful, right? Um, it can... Uh, sometimes like our own needs. So let's say, hey, I'm driving down the road and I'm really hungry and I see McDonald's, okay? And so I pull into McDonald's and I buy something and I overdraft on my credit card or, or that, or my debit card or something like that. And they charge me an extra fee, right? And I don't have enough money to pay it, you know? And so th things like that. It's like, well, I'm hungry. I need food, right? But sometimes you have to go in you have to be like, all right, I cannot afford this right now. I'm going to bring a sandwich from home, right? Or I'm going to do this. And sometimes we, it's hard because we're like, well, I really like, you know, that McDonald's or eating out. So eating out's like a hard thing for me anyways, right? It's like, okay, I, don't, I can't eat out all the time because I, I need that stuff. So somebody said, uh, my mother says that, yep. Uh, knowledge is the most powerful asset in the world. Just need education. Yep. We'll be talking about the more education you get, the more um, likely you are to be financially stable. It's the truth. Okay. Um, okay. Hungry. That's when top ramen comes in handy. Yep, I've had a lot of uh, of ramen noodles over my days, <laughs> and, and I remember like being in college and not having a lot of money, and we just ate, but everything was fine. We were able to make it through. That's the only thing debt collectors can't get, is what your top ramen? Oh, your education, maybe. Sorry, I didn't. I'm trying to follow you on the chat and everything. All right. So basically, this is what today was for, right? It was to dip our toes into what um, personal finance is. Let me just share my screen with you real quick, okay? All right. Can you give me a green check if you can see my screen? Okay, looks like most of you can. Okay, so this is our course. 
So the, the recording here will go in the class announcements, okay? So I'm recording it, it'll go in the class announcements. So if you happen to miss the class or whatever, it'll go right there. If you go to, real quick, plan, this is gonna be what's due coming up, okay? So I wanted to, oh, I forgot to do it. Sorry, I lied. I will get that done in just a second. Put in what's due. <laughs> Can't believe I did that. But what we need to get done, okay, is this week we need to get quizzes 1.01, 1.02, and 1.03 done, okay? That is what's due right now. Um, so all you're going to do is you're going to go into the video, okay? It pops up. There'll be a video that pops up right here. You just watch the video. This one's about emotions and financial decisions, just basically what we've talked about. Then you're going to go into the quiz right here. Take the quiz. If you don't get the, the grade you want on that quiz, then just uh, watch the video again or, or recap it and retake it until you get the desired score you want, okay? So this will be this week. Next week, you're going to go over uh, module two and module three. Okay, so that's really ends the class here. Um, there's not an exit ticket that I have for you. Any questions that you want? Um, good. How many attempts do you have? You have as many as you want. Yep, I got them as many as you want. Okay, what other questions do you have? I will open up the the um, the board real quick. Are all our grades computer graded? Yep, they are. So as I said before, at the beginning of class, you can go through this as fast as you want, this class. And uh, some some students have finished it in a week, week and a half sometimes. But there are like 40, like 40 little quizzes, so. No, you won't, don't worry. You're not gonna fail. I have a really high pass rate in this class, so no. Yep, you're dismissed if you like. Go ahead, off to all the fun things. With knowledge, I can make money and could also gain power. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Okay, I'm going to stop recording real quick, uh, but I'll stick around for any questions you guys might have. Okay? Recording.